And then there's Kentucky, who heads into this season with the top recruiting class in the country, which includes three of the top six players. It's John Calipari's seventh number one class since he took over in 2009, headlined by Justin Edwards, DJ Wagner, and Aaron Bradshaw. And welcome back to Kentucky's Pro Day here at Rupp Arena. NBA scouts from every team in the league are here to observe the and evaluate the Wildcat players through drills and exercises. It's all very similar to what you see at the NBA Combine. We see that after the season and our head coach, of course, Seth Greenberg joining me, Kevin Nagani and the head coach of the Kentucky basketball program, John Calipari. John, first off, you were the first coach to introduce a pro day. Why do it? Why bring NBA scouts in here before the start of the season? Well, we did it because that was a year I had guys come back and I had 10 players and I was going to have to platoon. Yeah. So I said, let's show them off before the year. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. And then you just did it every year and other teams are doing it. And I'm happy because it gives all these young people a chance to be seen in this setting, yeah. which is a little easier. It's a little bit of pickup. <laughs> You know, they're a little looser. Cal, this season, how are you going to define success for your team and this group this well, season? Well, how do you define it at Kentucky? There's one better, way. You better hang you one better, of those batters, you bro. Better, yeah. you, and, and, and it's playing for that thing that at the end of the year, you're one of those teams. And so, you know, we we got all these big guys out. We're playing more four on four tonight. We have three seven-footers. One uh, should be here on campus tomorrow. We have... Um, the two with the foot injuries who are out another five, six weeks. Um, but you must have rim protection. If you don't have post presence, your mm -hmm. team's a fraud. Now, maybe you can sneak by, but to win six without rim protection, really, really difficult. You bring up six, that is the postseason. Everybody here talks about results, right? Especially the last four years. Two years you don't make the tournament, and then early well, exits. Well, well, well. Well, we could have won the national title with Maxi quickly. Everybody, wait a minute. Yeah. We, the season was ended. Understood. So, understood. No, no. Yeah. We could have won the national title. But, but. at Kentucky, yep. winning 25, 22, 20, and not being in the Final Four, that's not Kentucky good. We've been good, but not Kentucky good. Now, let's see where we are. Let's get this young team. Let's get some big guys. Nothing changes. Well, well you've done this, and what about now? It's the same. It doesn't matter what you did a year ago. How would you I describe coach that pressure, though? How would you describe it? Because it's such a unique thing that maybe five if, programs go through right, it every year. So I always say this. If I'm worried about what they're saying in the seats, yeah. I'll be up there with them shortly. Okay. The second thing is your goal, coaching in Kentucky, isn't, yes, it's don't get under the desk in a fetal position. <laughs> like, And all I can tell you is, I put more on myself yeah. than I feel anywhere else. And, and whether it's going into games, we play big games on national television, and I get juiced for that. Mm -hmm. um, but I also get juiced trying to help these kids get where they're trying to go. I'm not doing it at the expense of young people. Let's have them do their thing, mm -hmm. and let's prepare them for the future, yet let them know if we win at the highest level, which we've done here, Everyone eats. You get six guys drafted. You get four lottery picks. Yeah. And while you do that, you still get the one pick. So we got to get that going. And I think we have a really talented group, but we need a big and or two. With this team, or we could play the one, three, one. No, you, you, <laughs> we could play. Yeah, the, I'm not taking that phone call. That. I'm not taking that phone call. Just so hey. you all know, I call him every year, explain <laughs> this one, the one, three, one, and I never use it. Not one time. That's great. With this team right now, and maybe where it's going, what keeps you up at night? Um, that we're not going to have that big. That keeps me up. I know my our guard play is really good. Uh, we have every player here can dribble, can pass, and can shoot now, and has a good feel for the game. Everyone, mm -hmm. and and Shay Alexander told me that in in uh, uh, Canada. Coach, I like your team because they can all pass, dribble, and shoot, and they got a feel for this. So now it becomes getting them together, getting them to share, getting them to take on roles, getting them to understand you're not taking 25 shots here. In a game you may, mm -hmm. but you can't average that because we got a bunch of other guys that are pretty good too. 
So the, it takes time to get to that. And then if I can get them feeling empowered that it's their team, and I can step away and they feel we're going to be fine. How do you do that though with such young talent? How do you get them to feel it's their team? They, the young talent, they can't lead right away because they just walked on campus. Mm -hmm. But Michael Kidd and Anthony David, you, you're talking about guys, it took them time but all of a sudden it became their team. And this, this group of young players, now Antonio Reeves can really play and has gotten better. Trey Mitchell, come on now. I Transfer. Mean, yeah, portal. he yep. is, you know, and, and he is a guy that makes everyone around him better, yet can still do stuff. Mm -hmm. Great passer, great creator, um, really smart. I got a smart team. So, again, to get them empowered, it means they start taking over practices, that individual player, and he then takes hold of this group. We got a practice behind us. We appreciate you taking the time here and coming up later on Sports Center. Seth's going to join you out in the court. You know who appreciates him being here? Who's that? Those guys. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you guys are smart. You put my back to this. Exactly. So, I can't so you don't see even anything. see it, right? I can, I can stay locked in. Well, John, we do appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks. Of course. Thanks, yeah.